Hi, my name is Kelsey Sampson. So imagine this, I'm a company with pretty crappy business practices. I have a massive carbon footprint, I don't treat my employees well, I don't encourage diversity in the workplace, and I have a product mix that is fund fundamentally pretty bad for society, like cigarettes. To make up for these crappy business practices, I have what's called a CSR, or Corporate Social Responsibility Program. CSR programs are way that, ways that businesses can incorporate social giving or social responsibility into their business model. So my company uses the CSR program by donating money to a couple of organizations that are donating money to causes that are completely legitimate but pretty unrelated to my core business model. This sounds like the type of company that you would want to avoid as a potential employee and customer, right? Well, unfortunately, this type of business practice is not that uncommon. So I'd argue that while it is really important to have a CSR program, these programs are ultimately inadequate if businesses are not first addressing more fundamental business responsibilities like being environmentally sustainable or treating employees well. Businesses should be having a good effect on the world simply by existing and then use their CSR programs to take it a step further. This idea can be visualized through a pyramid. Now at the base is the core good business practices and then at the next level is the CSR program. At the top is publishing the impact that the businesses have because it's actually really important for businesses to let the world know what impact they're having so that the business can benefit from their efforts. This idea of improving core business practices is something that was really common during the industrial era. During this era, manufacturing became more commonplace and as this happened, workers soon started to face a lot of adverse conditions like um, long hours, not great wages, or not a lot of safety on the job. In response to this, workers' unions were formed, where individuals banded together and demanded that businesses step up and improve their core basic behaviors. In a lot of ways, um, workers' conditions have improved since the industrial era, but we're still seeing a similar trend as individuals are stepping up and asking businesses to go back to their fundamental behaviors and ensure that they're having a good effect on society. Both doTERRA and Vivint are really good examples of this bottom-up approach. First, doTERRA, which is pictured at the bottom, is a great example of having a core business practice that is making the world a better place. They have what's called impact sourcing, which is their way that they make sure that their growers are treated fairly and empowered as workers. Through impact sourcing, they make, they're making sure that their business is having a good effect on the world just by their everyday practices. Next, Vivint, which is pictured up top, is a good example of extending the good that the business is already having through a CSR program. Vivint already has a product mix that's having a good effect on the world, but then they take it a step further by donating their product to families with kids with autism so that parents can better keep an eye on their kids. Through their CSR program, they are having an extension of the good that their business is already having. So in short today, we need a lot more companies that look like this and a lot less companies that are using CSR programs to make up for fundamentally poor business practices.